Previously on Silver Sun. No, it doesn't work. We'll just fade away. We won't even be ghosts. We'll be ghosts of ghosts. What's so funny? It felt like someone was tickling me. He felt it, Mara. I saw. If you can make Tycho laugh, there must be some way we can communicate with the others. You should try Deeks. Mara's not here. I am. Maybe there's a future for us. This isn't the right time. What would you have done if I'd never been found? Would you have gone back to Zandy? Well, enough with the questions. So let's just enjoy our time together. OK. When I was invisible, I could see everything that was going on. The good and the bad. Good for you. Deeks is my boyfriend. And we're great together. So you stay away from him, OK? Star Runner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. I wouldn't mind a clean uniform sometime soon. Are you itchy too? Hey, Tame, aren't you on sterilisation detail? All right, all right, just get off my case. What will I do again? Well, first you empty the laundry chute. No, what's setting on the machine? Oh, don't go over four. Isn't five quicker? Trust me, don't go over four. Attention all crew. Within 72 hours, Star Runner will pass through a micrometeoroid nebula. Commence preparation for extravehicular activity. Space walking. Space walking. Yes. The first thing I'm going to do when I get out there is stare into the void and imagine I'm the only person in the universe. No. First you've got to make the team. They're only picking two. I've logged more hours in the simulator than anyone. Top 10% at the Space Academy in all EVA modules. I've worked hard for this. Then you're all sorted. What, don't you think I'll make it? No, I didn't say that. But you thought it. Chill out, Ma. I know you're keen for this. And I'm sure you'll get there. I have a visual on those coordinates. Leonella, your task is to proceed to the hatch. Vital's normal. Now for an obstacle. Whoa! I've got a wall of shooting lights passing between me and the hatch. What lights? Let's caught her off guard. Heart rate's up. I've lost the hatch. Moderate stress. Okay, I'm going to proceed blind to the hatch. Moderate anxiety. Jump in the heart rate. How about we send her into a spin? Whoa! You're not going to believe this. I'm spinning. Leonella, where are you? The hatch is closing. I've still got target coordinates. If I can use them to slow the spin, I should make the hatch. I still can't get a visual on the Star Runner. I'll trust the coordinates. She's doing well. Yes, I can see the ship. And she has the hatch. She's home. Welcome back, Leonella. Awesome. Report status, Mara. Confirming visual. Proceeding towards the hatch. Vitals normal? Here we go. Something just happened. Mara, proceed to the hatch. I've lost the ship. I can't. The ship hasn't moved. I'm telling you, it's disappeared. Nothing here but space. That's your problem. Spike in the heart rate. Well, these coordinates must be wrong. Nothing but stars. Is this part of the test or are your instruments malfunctioning? Hey, I've just gone into a tumble. Trying to correct. Mara, where are you? The hatch is closing. Can't correct spin. And no sign of ship. Your time is running out. It's not there. The ship's disappeared. What are you going to do about it? Stay put. Awaiting further instructions. 
Thank you, Mara. Test complete. Shortly, Star Runner will intercept a micrometeoroid nebula. A team has been selected to collect samples. Two candidates will form Spacewalk Alpha Team. They are... Tane. Yes. And Leonella. I don't believe it! Congratulations! That's great. Will there be a second team? Deegan Hart and Zandi will form backup. Put her there, partner. Mission training will commence immediately. The rest of you report to the lab in five minutes for ground crew briefing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Lily. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't you think it's sus Leonella gets the top job from her mum? Well, who else is she going to get it from? It's not what I meant. Only two can go. I'm just backup. Personally, I don't think Tane's going to get lost. Not that I wouldn't. Deegs, I'm serious. Leonel is not spacewalk material and you know it. It sucks he didn't get the job. But you're acting like this is the one and only spacewalk ever. Easy for you to say. You weren't even interested and now you're on the backup team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was about Leonella. It's about me. Missing out on an opportunity I deserve. Then I'm not the person you should be talking to. I want to know why I didn't make the spacewalk team. You know I can't discuss that with you. My fitness and reflexes are better than most of the candidates. Ground crew are also required to be fit and able. Then give that job to Leonella. Firstly, I don't have final say on the EVA team no. selection. Syriax does. But you do make medical recommendations based on the tests. That's correct. And your daughter just happens to make it onto the first team. Secondly, the selection was based on the outcome of the current tests. I was top of my class in all spacewalking modules at the academy. I know your file, Mara. Well, then you know my performance was better than Leonella's. If you have a problem with the results, I suggest you take that up with the commander. Hey, Tan, is it true that you're going on a spacewalk? Sure am. Got to get this done first, though. Can't it wait? Uniform sterilisation can't wait. It's far too important. Really? But it's just washing. Actually, I would say it is success in laundry that makes me the pilot I am today. Really? Oh, yeah. See, what we have here is a code purple sterilisation exercise. Muck up a job like this and the whole ship shuts down. You see, guys? It's the little things. Forget spacewalking. Master laundry. That's real power. Could we master it? I don't know. Look, I'm willing to give you a chance. We should be coming into viewing range of the meteoroid nebula. Commander, I want to make a formal complaint. OK. Let's talk about it first. I think that Leonella's selection for spacewalking instead of me was influenced by her mother. Serious allegation, Mara. I have a lot at stake. I've worked very hard to make spacewalk selection. Everyone has. You said it yourself. The success of any mission rel relies on having the right person for the right job. I stand by that. I'll accept your complaint when we've moved through the nebula. But Commander... In the meantime, preparations continue for meteoroid sampling. I want you to oversee the entire mission. Remember, Tane said don't stuff it too tight. There's still heaps to go. That's funny. This ultrasonic dial says there's three settings left. So? That's three speeds higher than what he told us to use. We can make it go faster. Faster means cleaner. Turn up the sound waves. How much? Take it to five. Remember, stay close to your partners at all times and abide by the mission's objective. These exercises are to re-familiarise yourself with the feel of the spacesuit. Out there, you'll be using muscles that you don't normally use. This is where yoga gives me an advantage. Just don't start meditating in space. Concentrate on the exercise. Your centre of gravity will be just behind the pelvis, so try to imagine all movement starting from that place. Even my hands. You heard what she said. Any sudden jerk or twist will send you spinning out of control. So practice turning whilst concentrating on your centre of gravity. Pass this on carefully.
It's gone. There are no flaws in space. Drop it and you lose it. Thank you, Mara. I'll run this training session. I have command of this mission. When the mission starts, you can take command. Until then, this is my training session. Let's try that again. Hold out your hand. This time, no letting go. And a focused magnetic beam draws the samples into here. Oh, kind of like a vacuum cleaner for cosmic rubble. Very clever. I like it. Only it won't be rubble. It'll be extraterrestrial dust. Hey, dirt. If only the action heroes knew what could be out there. Not to mention... What we don't know is out there. Be serious, please. EVA equipment ready? Fully charged and standing by, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. Let's double check. <laughs> Always keep an eye on your oxygen supply. It's checked. Oh, we've programmed distance parameters into your helmet viewfinders. Don't worry. I won't stray very far. OK, Mara's in charge of the mission. She'll take it from here. This is a routine sample collection. But in space, you're always vulnerable. Now they tell us. Nothing we can't handle. Anything could happen. Your mission is simple. Fill the sample quotas and return to ship. Information will be issued on a need-to-know basis only. Pay attention. Out there, you're my responsibility. So follow my orders. Whatever you say. Are we clear? Perfectly. Good luck. They feel incredible. It's like they've gone warp factor clean. All light and zingy. And they're done in the quarter of the time. I think we've mastered laundry. Laundry is power. power. Yes. <laughs> There's another two piles. And I wanted to go watch the spacewalk. Don't worry, there's still two more speeds on the ultrasonic dial. Should we do it? Hey, we're experts now. Let's do it. This time, we're going all the way to seven. A new clean dimension. Approaching nebula perimeter. Pilot star on a port side and maintain position. Boosters disengaged. It's amazing. Spacewalk Alpha Team, this is Mission Control. Stand by to intercept Nebula in T minus five minutes. Copy that, Mara. Clear to override airlock security. Let's do it. Digging hearts bridge, securing airlock. Airlock secure. Our first steps in space together. I was thinking the same thing. You're relaxed. I hum when I'm nervous. I didn't know that about you. Are you cool? Keep humming. We're swimming in the universe. Oh. Oh. I am never coming back. <laughs> this is great. Look at them. They're having way too much fun. Lillian report. I'd say they're exhilarated. Oh, this is so cool. I'm 
love it out here. Playtime's over. Let's start the sweep. Alpha 1, Alpha 2, activate samplers. Alpha team, continue sweep as planned. Takes all the romance out of a space jaunt, doesn't it? Sitting on the bench? No, her voice. Careful, careful, that's Commander Mari you're talking about. Report me for insubordination. That would mean disciplinary action. Somebody stop me! <laughs> Sampler's now at 75% capacity. I'm getting a new reading, a dense ion charged particle stream. Patch coordinates to Alpha 2. Alpha 2, proceed to ion charged area. Let's get a sample from there. Copy that. Alpha 1 to control. I saw something glowing amongst the debris. I'm going to take a closer look. Report, Cheng. I don't see anything. She's drifting to the perimeter of the safe zone. Alpha One, stay with your partner. I have the object in sight. Let's pull back, Alpha One. The object is nearly within reach. Safe distance parameter about to be breached, Mara. Stay with your partner. Stunning! I don't see anything. Negative, we have no visual on your sighting. Alpha team, mission is over. Return to ship. Copy control. Alpha 2 returning to ship. Shen, you need to see this. Can't she hear me? Leonella, get back to the ship. Do you copy? Leonella? Gotcha! Returning to ship. Repressurizing complete. Yeah! Awesome. Mega. Totally. Space chunky vocabulary. Mate. Oh, thanks. Great work, Tate. What's that smell? Oh, the space. It smells like burnt metal. It's the ionized particles. Everything is really sweet out there. Oh, Mara wants to see you two on the bridge for a debrief. Pronto. I'll come to the lab after. I want to check the samples. Congratulations. Thanks. They seem pretty stoked. Yeah, they're bouncing off the walls. It kind of makes you want to get out there and just take a walk in the cloud. Don't worry. Our time will come. Well done, Tane. Leonella, you've got some explaining to do. Sorry? You were ordered to return to the ship. I know you heard me. I was chasing a sample. You separated from Tane and went off on your own. I brought back a unique specimen. Isn't that what we went out for? You risked the entire mission. She was in view the whole time. No, Tane. I can speak for myself. I made sure I was in safe distance. Well, it was dangerous and undisciplined. All right, that's enough. Crew safety is Mara's responsibility. You were ordered to return to the ship. You should have followed that directive. But... That's enough. Dismissed. I knew something like this would happen. You're right, but for all the wrong reasons. Leonella shouldn't have made the spacewalk. Would you like to know why you didn't? Because my mother isn't one of the selectors? During the test, why didn't you return to the ship? I couldn't see the ship. You had the coordinates. They must have been wrong. You were the only one who didn't use them. You blamed the equipment and then you froze. right. Leonella shouldn't have been on that team. I heard it the first time. You don't see it, do you? Does it matter what I think? You know it does. Really? You went and complained to Syrax anyway. <sighs> Fat lot of good that did. Leonella ignored my command. Syriac said so himself and then he doesn't discipline her. I can't win. You were given command of the entire mission. You know what I mean. Do I? Someone had to take a stand. You mean when you don't get what you want? How can you say that? It's true. Well, now I know which camp you're in. No camps, Mara. 
You don't care what I think. You just want me to agree with you. Can you believe this? Our kids are doing laundry. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Find them more chores or we might sneak ourselves some time together. Well, that would be nice. <sighs> Your personal magnetism just keeps getting stronger. Tycho! Hey, Dad, got any more laundry? Hug your sister. Yuck! Hug your brother. No way! Do it! <sighs> what was that? What sonic setting did you use on the cleaner? The usual. And what might that be? Four. Really? Five? And a half? Do you want to hug your sister again? Okay, it was seven. That setting's enough to charge the uniforms with enough static electricity to... blow us into another galaxy. They all look the same. Well, they are, at least superficially. Let's see what the spectronics tell us. But one looked different. It was glowing. Not now. What we see is what we've got. Some contain crystalline formations. The tractor beam may have caused a brief electromagnetic discharge, refracting off one of the larger samples. Are you sure this is all of them? Unless one floated out the door, this is it. Strange. Star Runner's back on course. Shouldn't you be helping Mara celebrate her successful mission? I don't think she'd be in the mood. Guess it's no fun handing back the seat of power. She runs a tight ship. You should make her a little captain's chair so she can practice every day. Oh, I would have been bored of my banana in training if it wasn't for you. We make a good team. Yeah, we do. Interstellar dust. Could be the ashes of a dead star. Or the start of a new one. Could be another 10 billion years before anything comes of it. I'm used to waiting. Cryo does that to you. Question is, can you wait that long? <laughs> what? <laughs> See how much I miss you? Commence scanning. Rotate 180 degrees. Nothing special. 